everyone, welcome to a new video. I'm Donatella, if you're new here, welcome. I'm actually starting this video on a Saturday, which is really weird. I'm gonna bring you along my week on my life. I'm gonna bring you along this week, but I'm starting it on the weekend, which is a little bit weird for me because I usually start my vlogs on a Monday. Anyway, the sun is shining. So sorry if the light changes a little bit. I've just been up, out, being productive because when the sun's shining, it just makes me want to do things. I don't know about you, but my mood is seriously affected by the weather. And when it's sunny, I just wanna get up, out, be productive and do things. And that's exactly what Jack and I have done today. But we've come home and I just thought it was a good chance to start this video because I want to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Linear. They are a sustainable jewelry brand and I just think that you're going to love them. And I wanna show you the pieces that I got and I also have a really exciting discount. So we all love a discount. Something that I really liked about Linea in particular is that they are a female founded company. I don't know if you've seen, but I've seen a lot of celebrities wear Linea. So I was very excited about this collaboration because anything Hailey Bieber wears, I am all for it. And she actually has worn Linea. So if that's anything to go off, <laughs> then yeah. But also they use all recycled silver and gold and they also offset all their carbon emissions, which is just amazing. I'm really particular about what jewellery I wear. At the end of last year, I had like an awful ear infection. My skin is so sensitive to jewellery. I'm really particular at what I use. And the fact that Linea is hypoallergenic is also means a lot to me because I'd rather invest a little bit more on my jewellery to know that it's hypoallergenic. But what I really like in particular is that they use premium jewellery, but at low prices. So yeah, if you head over to the website and use the discount that I've got in the description, um, you get a little bit extra off as well, which is really good. But I just want to show you the pieces that I got. Sorry, the sun is literally going in and out. So this gorgeous little ring, can you see? So pretty. Favourite things that I got from there are this jewellery stack in my ears. And since I had my second ear pierced last year, I've just been trying to find the right stack because I just love, I just love it. And I was so excited to get my second ear pierced. So the fact that I've got these now just makes me really happy. So I've got this lovely little like diamond, diamond stud there, which is kind of like a leaf, which is really pretty. And then just a gold hoop. I love a gold hoop. So the fact that this is coated with extra thick 22 karat gold makes me very happy, <laughs> very happy. It means I can just leave it on when I go to the gym, if I'm in the shower, and that just is amazing. So something that I didn't share is that they come in these gorgeous, oh, sorry, the sun is like going in and out, gorgeous pink pouches which is super cute. Also, they've given me this little jewellery case, which is amazing to me because when I'm traveling, I'm actually awful at where I put my jewellery. So I'm gonna get so much use out of that. Very happy about that as well. <laughs> if you are looking for any extra jewellery or you wanna treat yourself this summer with a discount code, with a discount, I will leave all of the information in the description. I believe the code is Donatella, but I will leave it on the screen. And if you use the link, it's all, 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 all happening down there. So yeah, let's go into the rest of the video. Hey guys, I've just come home. I feel like I've been everywhere and anywhere today. I've been like shooting some content, I've been at a team meeting, obviously went to the beach this morning, so... It's all a bit crazy, but I'm finally at home, got my laptop up, I've just made a sandwich. <laughs> it's currently half past four, but I haven't eaten all day. So I'm gonna sit here now, finish everything that I need to do, and then chill. That's the plan. Hey, I'm officially finished now, and I'm so happy about it. I'm gonna switch off, relax, and read some of my book. I'm on the third book of the Chestnut Spring series, Powerless. Yeah, Powerless. Loving it, guys, loving it. I think I said in the last vlog, so I was reading Heartless. I just love the Chestnut Springs aesthetic, the cowboys, and like, I'm just loving it. 
<laughs> I'm loving it. I hope they make this into like a TV series or like something because I'm just obsessed. Very steamy books, but besides that, the whole vibe is actually really nice. So yeah, I'm getting through them quickly. But yeah, also, fun fact, my nails match it. So I think it's a sign. Oh my god. Oh my god. I said I'm loving these books, but they're freaking naughty books. Naughty books, guys. God, this is a bit much for me. <laughs> I've just fake tanned. I needed to tan. I felt so rubbish yesterday, as pale as I was. So I've just tanned this morning. And this is my tanning dressing gown. And I am gonna sit at my desk, work away whilst my tan absorbs. It's actually now officially Bridgerton part two day, which I'm very excited about because I've been waiting for the next episodes. Don't know about you, but I'm obsessed with it. It's, it's probably like my favorite show ever. I literally love it so much. So I'm gonna do as much work as possible so I can reward myself later by watching Bridgerton. Because I think if I watch Bridgerton at the same time as doing my work, the work's not gonna get done. So it's a lot later now. I have been working away, all busy. We've just had dinner and I've just unboxed actually some of the bits I got from uh, Look Fantastic. And I think I've said this in a video, I don't know when it was, but when I was like washing my hair, um, I was speaking about it and I basically have repurchased the Curl Wow uh, products. So this is the, you know, like Color Wow. Is it is it Chris Appleton's range? I love these products so much. I've actually got like a curl, curly hair journey. I'll link the playlist above if you're interested. But like, I literally have tried so many products, and there are so many things that have been really good, really good. But actually, things I've gone back to have been. A few and far between because I've always just reached again for the Boots Curl Cream. But these, the only thing I can fault is that it's so expensive. This cost me £60 just for these two. They are really expensive. But I have to say, the way my hair has like curled and ringlet, ringletted and how hydrated my hair feels, I can't fault it. I really, really can't fault it. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you that. I am going to wash off my tan now get cozy gonna go make a cup of tea maybe i've actually got some sorbet in the fridge so make a little bowl of sorbet and i'm gonna watch the episodes of bridgerton i'm so excited i <laughs> as as you've seen in the vlogs i've literally re-watched bridgerton from start to finish again and again in preparation i'm actually crying i'm that excited yes okay I can't wait. So I'm actually going to stop talking to you because I really want to go and watch it, okay? <laughs> Bye. So I watched Bridgerton last night. It was so good. I binged the whole thing, but yes, I probably will rewatch all eight episodes together so that then there's a full binge and I like see different parts of it that I didn't see the first watch. So yes, I will do that. Jack thinks I'm weird for doing that, but I don't care. Loved it. Really loved it. It did get to the point at the end. I won't say any spoilers if you haven't watched it yet because this video is going to go out on Sunday and it's currently Friday, so you might not have seen it. But it did get to the point that um, there was like half an hour left and it was episode eight and there was half an hour left. And I was like, there is so much to wrap up here. How the hell are they gonna do that in 30 minutes? Like I kept looking at the time, I was like, there's 20 minutes left. Like there's so much still to, um, to like wrap up in a little bow. Loved it, absolutely loved it. The music. The, they have taken the music to a new level this season. All of the songs, I think I did a little TikTok actually. I'll put it on the screen. <laughs> Honestly guys, I was like screaming. Anyway, I am just about to go 
on a client shoot today and um, I'm excited, I'm excited. Don't usually have a client shoot on a Friday, I have to say that. Kind of like to have a day at home on a Friday, because it's Friday, but it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna head there a little bit early, go get myself a little coffee, of course. Sit, do some work in a coffee shop before I need to go over. Um, so that is the plan. And I don't think it will be all day, I just need to get what I'll get and then that should be it really. I actually worked um, a little bit later this week. So as you've probably seen, this week has been a little bit disjointed and I still have my linear earrings in by the way. Um, yeah, so it's been a really, it's been a busy week, but like a week that like, I feel like I've not filmed anything because I've just been at the desk again. Like, it's so hard with my job because I feel like if I'm not just sat at my desk, I'm out and about, but then I'm with clients, so I can't video. So yeah. We're not going on a like summer holiday this year because obviously we're getting married next year, so we're kind of saving all the money for that, and that's obviously going to be quite a big holiday. Yeah, but um, I kind of just needed a week off. I don't think I've spoken about it, but last week, hence the tan and a little bit of a glow up in this video, I had a little bit of a mental breakdown, I'm not going to lie, and I'm not being dramatic when I say that, I think Jack was like, oh my god, what is going on with this girl? <laughs> I think I just had like a complete creative block. Obviously I'm a creative person, and my job's creative, which is amazing and I'm not complaining about that but having to be creative all the time and always think of ideas whether that be for my clients at work whether that be for you guys on YouTube whether that be Instagram TikTok and like all these social media apps that I'm in this world that I'm like just trying to keep up with it all and sometimes it's really overwhelming and sometimes I'm just like I just want to pack it all in like I don't want to I don't want to do any, don't do it anymore. I want to delete all social media. <laughs> like it sometimes just gets too much, and I just had a breakdown because I was trying to film this reel for a client, and like nothing was good enough in my eyes. Like it's not ever going to be enough. So I think I just got in this like crazy headspace, and yeah. So I worked a little bit later this week, so that tomorrow, which is Saturday. I'm gonna try and have like a solo date day. I might like take myself shopping, maybe go to look some books. I don't really know. Um, maybe I'll bring you along or I'll end this video and start a new one um, and do like a full day. But yeah, I just need like a little, I needed a, di I needed a day off because I've been to London, I've been here, there, everywhere. And it's just been, it's been hectic. Um, so yeah, my point was that I have booked a full week off work um, because although we're not going on a holiday, sometimes when like I don't have something to do, I won't book the time off because I'm like, why am I booking it off? I'm not doing anything. But actually just to have a week off is actually okay and important and I have holiday to use. So I'm like, just because I'm not like going on holiday or going away. Oh, someone's messaging me. Um, just yeah, just because I'm not going on holiday or going away doesn't mean like I shouldn't book time off. And I still plan to do stuff that weekend or like bits and bobs, but you know, not the full week, if that makes sense. That's the plan for me to just switch off. And a big part of me switching off, as I've shared so much, and I'm loving it, guys, I'm loving it, it's my reading. And I'm just, like, honestly I could cry with the happiness I found and like the community of people I've met from like loving books as well. So I finished Powerless as well. I think actually, guys, Powerless, I actually did a TikTok about Powerless and I put, t I put the book in the freezer because it was steamy. And um, these Elsie Silver books are really steamy, I'm not gonna lie. So if you like that kind of book, I think I did say in this vlog. I can't recommend those enough. However, 
that there was parts of this book, don't get me wrong, I liked it. And actually now, I, when I was in it, I really enjoyed it. And I really liked the fact that she she was a ballerina. She was actually um, a successful ballerina, which I found like really cool. That aspect of it. But I don't know, I feel like on reflection, I'm like, that wasn't my favorite one. Because some of the sexy chapters made me cringe. Um, like, I don't know, lots of people are commenting on my TikTok saying that Jasper, the the boy the book boyfriend is their favorite and like i really like him and like the idea of him i'm just not sure you know i want to read them all and then really really think about who, who i would want as my book boyfriend <laughs> anyway poor jack i'm not trading him i wonder if there's a romance novel about plumbers <laughs> So there we go. I always wear this every single day. I have to say I need to probably get another one of those because this is amazing, amazing. But this is the Super UV Over Makeup Mist. So I'm using it as a setting spray, but it's also SPF. Right, I'm gonna get changed because I've got to get all this meeting. She doesn't get your story like I do. I have completely forgotten to bring my camera. I just had my meeting and then I headed to a coffee shop but I've got to go back to the place where I had the meeting because they're doing a photo shoot but like it's loads of different locations in their showroom so I've got to go back and get some shots of a different location uh, which is fine it's right around the corner but it turned into the most beautiful day for a hug girl walk along the beach hopefully the step sun stays out because i did it the other day and i think i did say in this video but i literally had the best time going for a walk put my headphones in um and i want to listen to the playlist of powerless which is the book that i just finished because elsie silver at the end of her books she puts a playlist um of songs you should listen to that are like kind of in context of the book and I just love that about her books so I'm gonna go for a walk and listen to that playlist. Also I'm just putting this out I'm just putting this out there I am desperate to go and see Taylor Swift guys I need to go see her my sister's got tickets which I'm really jealous about and I don't know why but I just didn't get the tickets when I don't know, anyone's watching this and anyone's selling a Taylor Swift ticket that is a genuine person because there are lots of people scamming people so be careful as well if you're looking for tickets but I just pray.